Orioles bullpen that was already good got better when this guy came to our ball club. Ryan Webb, welcome to Thank Dempsey's you. Dugout today. Yeah, thanks for having I think me. want to talk a little bit about what you bring to this team and what you do when you get out there on the mound. That, Ryan, can you show me the grip that you have on the ball that makes it move so much? Yeah, it's just a, a two-seam grip. Uh, so two-seam fastball, I got my fingers kind of on the inside of the seams there. And my thumb is over here. You can see I have a little callus there from yeah. the ball coming off there. Do you so. put a lot of pressure on one finger or the other? A lot of guys like to do that. I've, I screw around with pressure a little bit when I'm playing catch just to kind of, you know, see. I, I don't really do it in the game. I'm just trying to have a nice loose, you know, you don't want it, you don't want to grip it really hard because it's going to it, slow yeah. the ball down. But, you know, just have a nice, be able to hold the ball a little loose here and just kind of rolls off the fingertips there. Any preference as to, you know, where you grip, you know, this would be like behind the two seams, this would kind of be a little bit in front yeah, of the I'm two seams? right on you, top. You're right on top. Right on top. And then, uh, like I said, just kind of repeat your delivery and make sure that, you know, your you, fingers stay on top of the ball when you release. You talked about staying on top of the ball. Now, normally a guy out here would, is this considered on top of the ball for you or still like this? Well, if I'm, if I'm here, that's going to be a flat pitch. That's going to roll off my fingers this way, and the ball is going to spin it's this not way. Not going to bite. And it's going to run, but you know you're you're, you're going to get hit. That ball is going to be flat in the zone. And when you're here and you're driving through the ball, you know my arm slot creates the side to side movement that I need. But staying on top of the ball is going to create that sink, and now so you get movement like this. That's a lot different from a lot of guys that I ever heard that through three quarters is to stay on top of the ball this way to make sure your hand is behind it. Yeah. That's really difficult. Now, how would you throw your curveball off of that same grip? Uh, use a, a slider, and I could just kind of pull it back from here to right here, and kind of the same thing. You want to have the same arm angle, same arm speed, uh, and then try to stay on top of that as well. And I'm really trying to reach out in front to get that that late you know bite yeah. to it do you ever get an opportunity to use a changeup, or do you automatically just take a little bit off your breaking ball or your fastball i do use a circle change up um, and that's my grip for that too um, yeah the circle is when you like put your finger together with yeah. your thumb at the same time that's and you right choke the ball and the more you bit. choke it the slower the it's going to be yeah um it's a pitch that it's my third pitch so yeah you know, you as, as, a, as, a, as a reliever coming in for one <laughs> inning, you know, facing some power hitters and stuff like that, you, you don't use it too much. But, you know, it's something I work on every day for those situations where you get guys in the lineup that, uh, that, that you can have success with a changeup. Well, you know, whatever it is you're doing, I want you to keep doing it because it's real exciting to watch you come out there and pitch because you know the advantage is Orioles when you're on the mound. So I want to thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you so much. And good luck to you. Uh, future success out there thank with you. this ball club and let's get to a playoff yeah, baby. Come let's on. Do it.